Hello everybody and welcome back. This literally is my first time working with foam clay and people have been asking me what's the comparison between model magic and foam clay. So while I work with foam clay, I'll do a comparison with model magic right here on the Evil Ted channel. There it is, foam clay. We're gonna go ahead and pop the safety tab for the screwdriver. What's great comes with an airtight container and stored in a Ziploc bag. Open that up. Uh, it's less like clay and more like putty, which is super soft. I read the instructions to help make it a little bit softer. You can knead it by adding water to it with your fingertips and just stretching it. it makes it a little bit more pliable. All right, I got some aluminum foil. We're gonna go ahead and roll out some horns. Okay, it's shaping up. Let the size like. There's some unwanted wriggly lines in it, so I found out you can wet your fingers and smooth out the imperfections. Now the horn's shaped up alike. I want to put a little bit of a detail on the bottom with a snake. Roll it out. And the great thing about this foam clay is it sticks to itself really well. So just to push it on, apply it, and wrap it around. Horn looks great. We're gonna go ahead and set that aside and let that dry. We wanted the silicone mold. I have some small detailed silicone molds. We're gonna press the clay into that. I have low profile molds and deep molds. So we're gonna go ahead and fill them up with some foam clay. Now they're full, we're gonna take these molds and put them in the freezer. I'm gonna leave those guys in there for at least two hours. Now we're gonna do the same thing with Model Magic. Pushing the molds. Let's go ahead and put those in the freezer as well. All right, here's the foam clay, frozen solid. And the interesting thing, and what makes it great about being frozen is it makes it easier to pull out. You won't damage it. And the best thing about putting the mold in the freezer is that when you pull them out, they'll be able to air dry equally on both sides. Wow, look at it, it's grabbing all this detail. Look at all that, nice. And let that dry. Now that it's dry, let's see how it cleans up. I'm gonna take an exacto blade, and it's, again, it cuts beautifully, just like EVA foam. A sharp blade. We're gonna take a rotary tool with a sanding drum. We clean up the back. To get rid of the grooves, we use a stone bit. Clean up the edges. Fantastic. Now we're gonna move on to Model Magic and do the same technique. Now for the stress test. Model Magic, the FOMO, bends really well. Super durable. Model Magic is rigid, but does not flex very well. I'm gonna move on to the horns. Same test. Rigidity, two days later, nice and dry, flexible. Model Magic horns, rigid and firm, but not that flexible. Now, applying foam clay to EVA foam. Gonna roll out a snake, and this time we're gonna apply water to the surface of the EVA foam. This is gonna help the foam clay stick really well with the EVA foam. I'm gonna go ahead and add some water and sculpt some detail, put a little bit of flange on the trim on my shoulder. What's a shoulder without a dragon head? So of course, make my dragon, wet the surface of the foam, apply the dragon head, and I have some wood tools and sculpting tools, so we're gonna be able to add some detail to the foam while it's still soft. There you go. I'm really happy with the detail. This looks great. We're gonna go ahead and set it aside and let it dry. Now for the ultimate test. I'm making foam mask off of my life cast. Again, more like putty, less like clay but I find it's easy to work in just pieces and then overlapping them. But the foam clay does stick to itself really well. So it was great to make the teeth. Excellent. Let that dry for two days. Now it's dry. I didn't put any release on the stone uh, life mask. I'm just gonna just peel it off, hopefully. Oh, and it's peeling off quite nicely. 
Fantastic. Now the front is dry. I realized something. The inside of the mask is still a little bit wet, so I'm going to wait for a day and let that dry a little bit more. Now the mask is completely dry. I got my foam horns. I'm going to cut to stick them under the face, and it cuts beautifully, just like EVA foam. So I'm going to flatten the bases to the horn. I'm going to apply some contact adhesive. Stick it to the mask. See, the mask looks great. It just needs a little bit more detail around the base of the horn. So I'm going to roll out the foam snake. Now I'm applying wet clay to dry foam. So I'm going to wrap it. To ensure it's going to stick, I'm going to take a little bit of a wet brush and apply water just to kind of massage it in and help it stick. All right, there's the shoulder piece I did two days later. Really flexible, durable, no cracking. The dragon head, securely on there. Again, it is tough. It's hard to pull off, but I would recommend still sealing it with something of your favorite choice, whatever you like to seal it with. But it's still stuck really well. Very impressed. Good stuff. There it is, the foam clay mask. Again, when it dries, you can grind it, cut it, and sand it just like EVA foam. This is remarkable. Ha ha ha. But the foam clay it does, with making the mask, I realized it shrank a bit, uh, roughly about 16%. All the small detail parts I put in the silicone mold shrink a little bit, but that's not much of an issue for me. This stuff is a game changer. Uh, as for the Model Magic, it feels and works the same, but it's not as durable. If you want to make small parts, it definitely would work, but anything bigger than that, break down, get yourself some foam clay. Speaking of foam clay, uh, in the video I used FOMO. You guys can get C4 at TNT Cosplay Supply. I have links for these foams below the video. There's so many companies popping up making foam clay. What can I say, guys? This stuff is a game changer. All the things I've been building that involve sculpting, like a belt buckle or a dragon head for a helmet, I'm not going to dremel anymore. I'm going to sculpt it out of foam clay. This stuff is remarkable. Great stuff. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, click on the button below. Go to my website, eviltedsmith.com, where I have numerous patterns for sale, and I'll have links for foam clay. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you back next time right here on the Evil Ted channel.